from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go. This is Valley News Live at 6. Child porn downloaded and shared on the NDSU campus. The North Dakota BCI's nearly 10-month-long investigation says that's exactly what happened. Thank you for joining us tonight. Mike has the night off. A former student now faces formal charges and could spend decades behind bars if found guilty. Valley News Team's Bradford Eric has the latest details. Bradford? Andrea, 35 years in jail and or $50,000 in fines if found guilty on all charges. That's what 19-year-old Talon Bits of Bismarck is facing. Court documents say Bits was an NDSU student at the time the BCI launched their investigation. Agents were doing keyword searches through online platforms, and they kept hitting IP addresses or specific identifying information for a computer. That information led them to NDSU, and the campus confirmed it was Talon Bits. The BCI found on Bits' computer at least three videos of various lengths, all featuring young boys engaging in sexual activity. The university today tells me Bits is no longer enrolled, and situations involving child pornography are a violation of the student code of conduct. Violations lead to a university investigation, then a hearing, and then possible sanctions depending on the outcome. Andrea. All right, thank you so much, Bradford. Talon Bits is scheduled to appear in court August 18th. A woman is facing seven charges after leading police on a high-speed chase with three children in her car. This woman, Stacy Anverinia, could serve up to eight years in prison if she's convicted. Along with being charged with child endangerment, she is also being charged for a DWI, speeding and fleeing from a peace officer. In the car was another man, a seven-year-old, a two-year-old, and an infant. The three children were taken to social services after Anverinia was taken into custody. The Minnesota State Patrol says a trooper tried to stop a vehicle for speeding about 8.30 Wednesday night on I-94 near Barnesville. Ann Varinia was going 118 miles per hour and refused to pull over. Officers used stop sticks to stop her car just west of Downer. A woman who was believed to be the person of interest in a Dilworth apartment fire is now being charged with arson. Kimberly Little Ghost could face a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison, a $20,000 fine or both for a fire she's accused of starting on June 2nd. Surveillance video caught her entering the apartment building 15 minutes before the fire started and leaving five minutes after. That fire left one person without a home at the Tivoli Garden condos. West Fargo police are investigating a case surrounding Snapchat. In early July, a man reported suspicious behavior on his account after he accepted a friend request from the user Olive359. He says the user asked for pictures of the man's ex-girlfriend for their private collection, claiming they had nude photos of her when she was a minor. Court documents say the person threatened to leak the nude photos if the man didn't send any back. West Fargo police are asking Snapchat to hand over the photos for their investigation. It's Friday and time to take a look at this week's Valley's Most Wanted. Police say Valerie Dida is wanted for a felony count of forgery or counterfeiting and a felony probation violation. You can call your local law enforcement if you have any information on this man. Not too bad out there today, a bit cloudy, but a great start to the weekend. Let's head over to Justin Fanfarelli for a first look. Justin. And thank you, Andrea. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, most of us seeing dry conditions out there right now. And we have a few scattered, brief, heavy rain showers. Let's take a look at the map to see where they are. One of them that moved through the Fergus Falls area just to the south and to the east of town right now. And another one that moved through the Jamestown area has now continued to move off to the east into Valley City. These are just uh, some scattered rain showers. But we're seeing some lightning in a band that is approaching the Maddock, Carrington, and the uh, Woodworth area right now. Other than that, we are seeing non-severe uh, thunderstorms uh, well off to our south and uh, to our west. We're going to see uh, calm weather as we go through this evening with the exception of those isolated showers and thunderstorms, partly cloudy skies, and it will be warm this evening as uh, any uh, storm chances will dissipate as we lose the daytime heating and temperatures will fall back into the upper 60s as we go through later on this evening. We're tracking more heat, humidity, and some more active weather. We'll tell you when it'll get here coming up later in the newscast. All right, thanks, Justin. Yeah. Starting Monday, those who make minimum wage in Minnesota will see a wage increase, and other new laws go, to, go into effect, too. 
People working for large companies will see a jump from $8 to $9.50. And those working for small companies will make $7.75. Minnesota will enforce what's called a revenge porn law. It means you cannot send sexual photos or videos of someone, like your ex, without their permission. People could possibly face felony charges in certain situations. Other new laws will loosen drug sentences on first-time offenders, while other drug offenses will increase with the goal of targeting drug dealers. A new law will also make it easier to get married. The state is eliminating the five-day wait period that's required between a marriage license and a ceremony. The Moorhead Police Department is welcoming three new officers. Andy Work, A.J. Schley, and Taylor Huss were the officers who were sworn in today. Family and friends attended to join them for, uh, rather, join them for the honor. With all of the recent police shootings and violence toward law enforcement, the new officers say they are aware of the risks. While many area police units seeming, are seemingly shorthanded, the addition of three new officers gives the area a much needed boost of police protection. Pencils, notebooks, and folders. United Way of Cass Clay is collecting them all to give to kids in the area. The annual school supply drive is once again getting ready to stuff backpacks full of essentials to start school. Organizers say it's important to remember there are students of all ages in need. This year, the goal is to hand out 5,300 backpacks to students in the area. Now's your chance to get vehicles and other items for less money. The East Grand Forks Police Department is holding an online auction, and it's going on right now. The auction items include cars, trucks, SUVs, a snowmobile, and over 30 bikes. The company, uh, the, rather the money raised from the sale of the snowmobile, will go toward the purchase of an ATV. Police say the department needs one to respond to incidents more effectively. To take a look at the auction items, head to valleynewslive.com and click on this story for a link to the auction site. The online auction runs until August 8th. West Fargo Summer Arts is set to perform the granddaddy of all rock musicals, Hair. The production involves a cast, crew, and orchestra of over 40 high school and college age performers from around the FM area. Shows will be held at Cheyenne High School tonight and tomorrow night, as well as on August 3rd, 4th, and 5th at 7.30 in the evening. There will also be a 2.30 performance this Sunday afternoon. The CDC says on average 10 people drown a day and that it can happen in less than one minute. They even say in some cases you can't even tell someone went under the water. Tune in tonight to Valley News Live 10 at 10. We'll tell you all about what one nonprofit is doing to help keep your kids safe. Again, that's tonight on Valley News Live 10 at 10. And remember to like Valley News Live on Facebook. You can follow the latest news, weather, and breaking news updates anytime on your feed. Just search Valley News Live, like our page, and you'll stay informed throughout the entire day. Tiny homes are uh, becoming hot items. We'll tell you about one in Minnesota later on Valley News Live at 6. And a high near 80 today, a couple of degrees below normal for this time of year. This is going to be the coolest air we're going to see for a while. I'll tell you where temperatures go from here next.